Welcome back to the Go Engineer YouTube channel. I am David Kersley. In today's video, I want to talk about Sketch on Edge to help save you time the next time you're modeling. Before we get started, make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. So basically, this little line right here, I need to make a cut that starts at this transition and goes all the way over to this other vertical line transition. And those two vertical lines are just representing the change in the radius. And so we want to make a little cut that goes from point A to point B, and it follows that path. So to create planes, just back up a step. If I wanted to create a plane that was using that face and that line, it'd be pretty easy. Okay. And so the way I would do it is just hit my S key. I'd pick on plane. I'd pick the first uh, reference, the second reference being the line I'd create, and that would create a plane that's perpendicular to the first face at that line. And I'd hit the D key, which would be green check. Okay. Now, if I rotate this part around to create a plane and be able to sketch right here on this vertical line here, that's a little trickier, isn't it? And we have to create a series of planes. All right. So how would we do that? Again, I want to be very careful about how I do it and I want to be time saving. So how could we do that? All right. So the first way we would do that is we would actually pick on the face and hit the S key and start to create a plane. And the plane, we would use that line and that radius hit the D key and it would create a plane tangent to that radius. And then I'd have to create a second plane referencing the plane I just created. And then I would go pick the line that this transition is happening at. So I'd pick the line. And when I pick that line, it's going to create a, a plane perpendicular to the plane we just created. And that would be one way to get there. And that's not too crazy. Again, hit the D key, execute. Okay, so that's not too bad, but is there a quicker, easier method? And there is, and that's called sketch on edge. So one way we can do that, let me roll back the history bar over on the left. Okay, so we got that done. So I'm going to rotate my part around, and I'm going to pick this edge. Okay, now from here, I need to create the sketch. So all I'm going to do is pick on sketch, whether it's up on the top right on the sketch tab, execute sketch, or I can do it from my command manager. Notice right now, it's showing a plane for, but I don't see it in the feature tree. So I'm going to hit my S key. I'm going to hit polygon, and it automatically put an origin right at the end point of that line on that plane. So I'm going to sketch out a polygon. I'm going to right click here, make this horizontal. Okay. Now I'm going to right click again and fully define the sketch. And here I'll hit the D key, green check OK, and let's change it 0.48 to 0.5. Okay. Looks pretty good. So now if I rotate it around, I can see that I've got a plane. And I've got a fully defined sketch. Pretty happy with that. Now what I need to do is make a little swept cut. So I, I want to go right around this little corner here. So sketch again, fully defined. I'm happy with it. It's positioned at the origin, which is right at the end point of that line. So let's go ahead and hit the D key. We'll execute that command. Now I'm going to hit my S key. I'm going to say swept cut. Once I pick on swept cut, I've got my profile. Now I just need a path. Boom, there it is, looks good, D key execute. So let's show you that one more time here. Uh, a rotator around looks pretty good. So let's do that one more time just so you got a better familiarity with it. I'm gonna pick a line or an edge, bunk. I'm gonna say sketch. I'm gonna go to the origin and I'm gonna start to sketch my shape. In this case, another little polygon, we'll drag him out. Looks pretty good. I'm just gonna right click, fully defined sketch. That looks good. D key, green check, OK. And I'll just hit the D key again. Uh, 0.73 is fine in this case. And then all we have to do is a swept cut. So I'm going to do a swept cut. I've got the profile, the path. That all looks good. D key, green check, OK. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and leave us a comment below. If you have a topic you'd like to discuss or cover in, in a future video, let us know. Visit our website, GoEngineer.com, for access to professional training, upcoming events, and more from your number one online technical resource. This is David. Now go engineer something amazing.